one of the best things about the Boosted is that you can actually break going downhill. I find it actually way safer to ride this thing than my normal skateboard just because I can break. Don't be deceived by the sunny weather. It's still pretty cold out here and my hands are freezing, but it's fun. Sorry guys, I forgot my ND filter today, so uh, so this one's gonna be a little bit all over the place with settings. Sorry. And if you don't know what an ND filter is, you should probably look it up if you care about filmmaking at all. You should do it right now. All right, confession time. So it was like a week ago maybe, I was on no film school and Cinema 5D and I was checking out some different camera rumors. And then it was time to go to bed, I went to bed and I lied down and I couldn't fall asleep. I started getting that, you know, that anxious feeling. You're trying to fall asleep and you can't fall asleep. All I could think about is that I need a new camera, a better camera, I need some new lenses, I need this and that. And that was getting me super anxious, I could not fall asleep. By the way, is this sound horrible in here? I think it's echoing. Echo, can you guys hear that? I hope that's not ruining this. All I could think about is that I need more gear. And I came to the conclusion that to fix this, I need a new camera. I'm just kidding, I'm not getting a new camera. But I realized that this happens every single year to me and it's usually at about the, at the same time when spring comes along. I don't know if it's just spring and I want something new or is it NAB, which if you don't know what NAB, it's a big camera convention. I don't know if it's NAB coming out and new rumors of new cameras and all this stuff, but I find that the exact same thing happens every single year around the same time for me. So I was trying to think, okay, if this happens to me, this probably happens to you too. And some of you probably look at something like my 1DX Mark II and they think, oh man, if I just had that camera, I'd be so much better, I'd be so much happier. Meanwhile, I'm looking at my 1DX II and I'm thinking I need a better camera. Okay, so what does this mean? Well, I think it means that no matter what camera or what gear you have, you're always gonna want something better. You're gonna save up for months and months for that 1DX Mark II and then you're gonna get it and it's gonna be really fun for a bit and then two months later somebody's like, oh, that's a 1DX Mark II, right? That's an amazing camera and you're like, meh, yeah, I guess it's okay. It changes so fast, but the real question is, what can we do about gear lust? What can we do when we start getting this anxious feeling about, I need a better camera? How can I not lose sleep over wanting a new camera? And actually, I have no idea. It's this weird feeling that just comes out of nowhere and I feel like I can't really control it. I haven't really figured this one out yet, but I think the answer might be the lame answer that nobody really wants to hear and that's, that you just need to be content with what you have. Because I have a ton of camera gear, way more than most people, and I still get this gear lust, I still get this anxious feeling, like I need something new or something better. Or maybe I just need to buy the best camera out there. Hmm. But also, I think just getting out there and making something cool, making something new, creating something, is kind of a fix for that. Because I think where this stems from is that we all just wanna be better at what we do. We wanna get better, and we think that buying a new camera is gonna make us way better. And sort of a, a new camera, a better camera, is gonna allow us to get better footage, better clips, make better films. But really the way that you get better at filmmaking is just getting out there making something. Learn, make, repeat, just keep making stuff. So for me, I'm just gonna try to focus on making cool content and kind of forget about the gear lust. I'll let you know how that goes. <laughs> I almost forgot, I also wanted to give you guys a few updates. I don't know how many of you guys saw, but I actually did my very first live stream on the channel last Friday. It's actually posted on the channel right now still, I'll link it down below, but I'm not quite sure, should I keep them or should I just leave them as live streams? I don't know, vote down below if you guys want me to actually save and post the live streams or just have the live streams. Anyways, that's something that I wanna do every single Friday. I don't know if Friday is a good day, but I'm gonna to try to do them around 3 p.m. Eastern time. I'll announce it on Twitter and Instagram. I didn't do that for this first one because I was just learning. I had no idea what the heck I was doing, but it was super fun, so I wanna keep doing that. And I also, I think I wanna wrap TF Feedback or Feedback Fridays into that live stream thing. I just don't know exactly how I'm gonna do that yet, but I'm, I think I'm gonna do that. Also, some really big updates coming really soon on a couple of my big goals for this year. One being the whole new channel thing. There may or may not be a new channel coming up. 
in the next month, two, two, I don't, pretty soon, we'll see. And then second and a little bit bigger and more exciting in, in my opinion at least, is that the hunt for the office is on. We have some really good candidates and notice how I said we. Uh, so I don't think I've actually said this, but I will be sharing that office with somebody. You can start debating about who that's gonna be with and start the conspiracy theories. Um, I'll have a lot more updates really soon, but I am so excited about that one. It's like one of those things where you just wanna get it out and tell everybody, but you can't yet. You have to wait a little bit longer. So stay tuned, there's gonna be a lot more updates on that. Anyways, I'm gonna go boost it around and enjoy this spring, sort of spring-like weather. All right, have a good one. Oh, and an interesting debate is, should I be live streaming on YouTube or on Twitch? How many of you guys actually use Twitch? My eyes have kind of been open to the whole world of Twitch recently, and I'm really curious about trying it out. So let me know, do you guys use Twitch? Are you guys watching live streams yet? Or should I just be live streaming on YouTube? I don't know, we'll see.